It was first conceived in 012 during the Pioneer War. Although a little bulky and heavy at first blush, in the hands of an experienced pilot, well, hell, it can overcome whole dynasties. Although these days, most of them are used for hauling and mining, there are some that have used it for, well, its more original role. I remember a time when going up against one of these babies, God flipped a coin. But luck favors the pilot with a wingman and not a goddamn dragon worshiper.
Welcome to Medieval Kingdom Wars from Reverie World Studios. I'm Joel Stedler, composer and audio director for the game. Allow me to welcome you to the inglorious Hundred Years' War. Today, well, it's 1419, and England is making its big move to capture Paris. The English king is Henry V, and he holds the doddering old French king Charles VI as a hostage. As you can see, Paris is a huge, meticulously recreated copy of the actual medieval city. Our goal is to recreate all of the large towns of medieval Europe with this kind of detail. There's some truly breathtaking stuff there. That's worth defending, right? In history, the French heir apparent was Charles VII, and it took him quite a while to get any real military skills under his belt. You're Charles VII here, and you're getting ready to defend Paris. But you've already got your act together, because, well, unlike Charles, you've been playing these kind of games for years, right? You know the English are coming, and you're getting ready to make them regret contaminating France with their tea and crumpets. The game involves fixed forces as well as base building. So first, let's get our existing garrison troops onto the walls and into the towers. On top of making the best of the existing garrison, we would also need to start building up the infrastructure of Paris, and to train new troops. To complicate things, though, the player needs to wrestle control of the entire city from the local gangs. Gangs were notorious in medieval cities, and the player has to bargain, or, well, otherwise deal with these petty criminals that control various districts of Paris. When directly controlling the city, as opposed to working from the world map, the combat infrastructure and micromanagement of the economy come into play. There are resources that have to be managed. Stone, iron, wood, and food are the basic ones. But there are 17 resources altogether which can fire up your economy, 
or in their absence, leave you with your own medieval version of the Great Recession. During a siege, you have to get creative with your economy. Chop down park trees and decorative firs. Take apart the town's housing and other buildings. Hunt down alley rats and homeless dogs. Just keep in mind that you don't want to anger the populace too much by your actions. These ungrateful peasants have to live somewhere. Now the French player is taking care of some last-minute military preparations and recruiting as many new troops as we can afford. It's a tricky thing to pull off, because every soldier has to get paid, and that means raising taxes on your citizens. Every soldier has to be fed, and that's food you're taking away from your citizens. We've just moved from the autumn into the winter of 1419 to 1420. look at how your citizens are reacting in the lower right hand corner. They're hungry, they're cold, they're pissed. In a minute they're gonna be mad as hell and they're not gonna take it anymore. They'll attack your livestock for food, riot, burn buildings, and even open the gates for the enemy when he shows up. So what do we do? Sure we can feed them and donate some wood for heating, but there's always a more ruthless way. You wanna have a revolution? I'll show you a revolution. Ugh, damn it, the peasants are revolting. Man, whoever said it was good to be king? Killing a hundred or so of these freewheeling entrepreneurs should put your populace back under control, to some extent. But then they'll pay fewer taxes. Right now, we have to hold Paris at all cost. Now it's early spring, and here comes Henry V with his English army. The English set up their siege camp, and the French quickly get their outlying citizens behind the safety of the city walls. Let's leave the English a little surprise and lay oil pitch around the gates. The game unfolds in real time. Whether you're getting ready to defend, or opening a can of medieval whoop-ass on your neighbor, other players, including AI players, might suddenly show up and add their two cents, or in this case, their do so. Never mind. Okay, here we go. Light them up, boys! Our you would be yours. Eagerly now, lads. Damn, that hurt. The battle is basically a free-for-all, with siege towers, mantlets to protect your archers, trebuchets, battering rams. You've got your onslaught of archers, flaming arrows, you know, your basic medieval nightmare. Now we're looking at some of the gritty, blood-soaked combat you'll be experiencing. Those rampart walkways look, ooh, mighty slippery. And the desperate defenders dash to get a few more troops recruited. The English have broken through the walls. The defending player pulls back into the city. Now, instead of siege combat, it's hand-to-hand, -hand, building to building, street fighting. Now is when you want the town populace on your side. The defenders are whipping together their street barricades. They miss it all, anyone? And they are formidable obstacles the invader has to overcome. Historically, the Burgundians showed up now to help the English. But has England been taking care of her diplomatic relations? The challenge is not to screw it up the way so many of the actual historical figures did. But you get to rewrite European history. Or, if you're not careful, get yourself written out of European history. This is 100 years of war for you to get lost in. Come in, Soyuz. Uh, then you confirm status. 
docked and preparing to rendezvous with crew in OPS4. What the... Ground control. Something's not right. The crew is not here. Not uh, there. Missing. Did they have other orders? Please execute module by module search. Confirmed. Where the hell are they? Ground control. It's a mess in here. Half the terminals are locked. I'm... concerned. Investigate. See what you can find out. Commander Zolnierevich. Engineer Shishkina. CLM clear. No sign of crew. What were they working on before I got here? This is classified. Understood. I'll find the answer myself. If the answer is not inside, then... Preparing to EVA. Confirm. Alexi, come in. Report, Alexi. 